To simplify a context-free grammar, we can eliminate the lambda productions and eliminate the unit productions. As we saw, this usually leads to a context-free grammar with many production rules, and so the natural question to ask is, can we simplify our set of rules? It's possible that a variable x is useless. It might never appear as the output of a production rule, or even worse, it might be a dead end. Can we modify the algorithm to eliminate lambda productions and unit productions to also eliminate useless variables? Well, let's try. So a useful idea in math and life is to be positive. It's easier to find if something is than to find if it is not. We say that a variable is reachable if it appears in a production rule S eventually produces alpha. In other words, we can produce it possibly as part of a string. By analogy with how we find nullable variables, let R0 be S, since the start symbol is automatically reachable, and let's construct a new set by taking the previous set together with anything that can be produced from a variable in our set. Then lather, rinse, repeat until rk plus 1 is rk, and we can't grow our set any further. So we might try to find the reachable variables for this set of rules. So r0 is s. Remember, s is automatically reachable since it's the start symbol. Next, we'll find the variables reachable from s, and since we have the production rule s produces a, b, then a and b are also reachable. Next, we'll find the variables reachable from a, since a produces a, a, b, b, or b, a, a, there are no new variables reachable from a. But b produces a, d, so d is now reachable. Next, we find the variables reachable from d. Since d produces bc, then c is reachable. But there are no new variables reachable from c, and so our next set is the same, and so our reachable variables are just going to be s, a, b, c, and d. We'll say a variable a is live if there's a production a produces x, a string of terminals. In other words, if we start at a, we can eventually produce a string in our language. Our algorithm for finding the nullable variables suggests the following approach. Let L0 be the set of variables that produce x, a string of the language, and then let L k plus 1 be all of those, together with something where all the variables are in L k, and lather, rinse, repeat, until we get the same set. So again, let's take a look at our grammar. So first we know that C and E could produce a string in sigma star, so C and E are live. Next, we look for variables that produce C. Since we have the production rule D produces B, C, then D is in L2. We also look for variables that produce E, but there aren't any. Next, we look for production rules that lead to combinations of C, E, and D, and the terminal symbols. But there aren't any that we haven't already included, so we can't expand our set of live variables. And so our live variables are going to be C, D, and E. This suggests we can further simplify a context-free grammar by eliminating variables that are non-reachable or dead. Non-reachable variables and all their productions can just be omitted. But what about dead variables? If L is live and X is not, it's clear we can eliminate productions like A produces X. But what about productions like A produces XL? Since X is dead, it will be impossible to eliminate it. 
So any string containing x will never be accepted. So let's eliminate the unreachable and dead variables from our grammar. We have our reachable variables and our live variables. Since e isn't reachable, we can eliminate any production rule from e. And since a and b aren't live, we can also eliminate any production rule involving a or b because these won't lead to any acceptable string. Note that in this language, there is no production rule from the initial symbol s. Consequently, we can produce no strings at all. In other words, this is the empty language. And it's important to note that this is different from the language that includes the empty string. This language has no elements.